Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you about my day. Um, I spent my entire day trying to chase down this cat. Um, story about the cat bandit is the people downstairs from me were completely just kind of trashy people. They didn't really take care of their kids. They didn't take care of this cat. And I didn't grow up um, with cats. I don't really like the litter box, you know, things that kind of fed and he wasn't causing a nuisance with the neighbors. Well, everybody loved Bandit. I mean, you could tell everybody loved him. There was food out from all the neighbors. They would all leave food and stuff for him to eat and stuff. So he's been missing for about a week. I got a story from the mailman who I don't particularly like. The mailman, he just shoves our mail into our mailboxes. It literally looks like just it looks like crumpled up trash by the time I get my mail so I don't really like the mailman well I asked the mailman a couple days ago when I was um, hanging up made a few homemade signs um, asking about bandit and I asked him if he had seen him or heard from him because a couple times we had talked about him trying to find a home for him so he told me that the landlord had ca called and was going to have him picked up. So today I was freaking out going to, I went to three different animal shelters and there's one more for me to go to tomorrow. It's in Palmetto. And, um, well, in the meantime, I texted and I called the landlord, left a voicemail and sent a couple texts asking, asking him, um, you know, could you just tell me where, you know, you sent him or ha had whoever come pick him up because I found a new home for him. My aunt said that she was going to take care of him, so bless her heart. Um, but I didn't get a text or call back all day, so that was kind of frustrating in itself, you know. So finally, um, my boyfriend sent him another text saying Shannon's really upset about it you know, do you know where you sent him? And the landlord, Rob, said that he never called anybody to come pick him up and that the mailman had said the mailman said that he had a lady that was going to take care of him, which at first is great, you know. But it's kind of shady that the mailman, I don't know his name, we're just going to call him the mailman. The mailman didn't tell me this. So I don't know who's not who's telling the truth here. I don't know if Rob is just kind of like afraid of telling me what the real deal is here with, with the cat because of whatever reason. But just um, somebody here is, is not telling the full story. And I just spent my whole day worrying about Bandit and trying to find him. And it's just really not fun. When you think about when you think about where he's at and, and everything, but hopefully, hopefully, um, he's in a nice home somewhere and not the shelter. And but hopefully, if he is in the shelter, I can get him out tomorrow and he'll go live with my aunt who has a nice big house, big yard, and he can live in the yard and he'll love it. He's an outdoor cat and he just he's really he's just the best cat ever. I've never liked cats, like I said, but I love Bandit. So, today I wanted to do a, um, a swimsuit haul for you guys. Um, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to have a place that had a pool. And I always said that, if, oh, if I ever have a pool, I'm going to go swimming in it all day. You know, I'm going to go swimming every single day. 
Um, is it my mug? Cute. I got one for me and one for Bobby, my boyfriend. So cute. Drinking my tea. Throat's been a little um raspy lately. So um so ever since I was a kid I said oh, I'm gonna go out by the pool all the time, blah blah blah. So I currently have a pool and I went a little crazy buying bathing suits. And you really don't go out that much, but when I do, I always make sure to put on my sunblock. I am very pale, um, fair skin, so I don't want to burn. And um, my favorite products to use are the Hawaiian Tropic. I love the smell. This has um, some uh, protective um, lotion in it, and this also lotion, um, just the uh, regular sunscreen works well. I don't really use that though. My favorite thing to use is this right here. This 14 karat gold rush. Um, oh my gosh. This stuff smells so good. Oh, smells like smells like shampoo or something. And it has um a little bit of bronze it has bronzing in the lotion so you can like instantly when you put it on you get bronze and you get um you get really um sparkly pretty and it helps you tan really good and i just got this and i'm i'm going out a lot more in the sun now that i've gotten this because it really does make a difference and um i just really like to lay by the pool Nobody ever goes in the pool, so I have it really good um, here at my apartment complex. Nobody's ever there. So, but when I do go to the beach, I usually like to take a bag like this. This is my beach bag. I like to take a bag like this because um, the sand, the sand goes right, I mean, it can't stay in the bag because the bag's open, you know. So, and also I can see everything that I need, and it's just a nice bag. Of course, your towel and a pair of sunglasses there over there so and um, that's all you really need for the beach but for the pool of course you gotta look cute by the pool for your man I have a few of these bathing suits I'm just gonna start with the best um, my favorite all-time favorite bathing suit is this little number right here and little I mean little I mean this is just the cutest bathing suit ever is it not I've actually never worn this out by the pool I've only worn it during um, times with my man private times but um, it is really beautiful, and that is definitely my favorite bathing suit. So, so then I'm just gonna um, start off with the um, odds and ends. I just have a couple tops that don't really have bottoms, but you could really um, wear them with whatever. So this is another oddball top. I like. When, when I buy the tops and stuff, usually it's because it's on sale and I just really like it. And um, sometimes I just don't necessarily like the bottoms or um, couldn't find them or whatever the case. So anyway, it's like a little sailor girl. Ah, uh, yes. This is so cute. I love these. Hearts. And I think that's it for the oddball ones. So, and we have one more. Just guess. And I like this because it reminds me of like lingerie. So that is really sexy. The lace on there. So cute. Okay, so my all time favorite bathing suit top is this Victoria's Secret light blue top. And whenever I wear it, I just feel like a mermaid. I mean, it's so pretty. I love to wear blue. I feel like blue brings out my eyes and it's just, um, it has really
really good support and it's so cute. So I wear this with, I like to wear it with this, um, butterfly bottoms. Um, it's very Holly Madison, don't you think? I don't know. When I, when I saw this, I thought Holly Madison. Um, so then I have this bright pink bathing suit top, which, oh my gosh, and my boyfriend says this one looks like a bow, and I think so too, so cute, bright pink, Barbie doll, it looks kind of purple, but it is pink, and I like to wear that with this, and my favorite thing about this is it has this little thing in the back, where it just makes your butt look so cute. I love it when it scrunches in the back like that. Really cute. <laughs> oh, there's so many bathing suits. Okay, so this was one of my originals that I started with. Um, it's a Hustler bathing suit that I got from Hot Topic. I thought it was cute. I really think it's cute. It's lasted for about four years. So, I mean, you really can't ask for much. It's really cute. It gives me really good um, butt tan lines good tan lines overall. It's just um, such a cute bathing suit. Skulls. Oh, my boyfriend definitely loves that because he's into the skulls and everything, but uh, this is just a hot chick bathing suit. And it's lasted for a very long time. And I appreciate that. So, Okay, so this is a Roxy bathing suit. This right here, this just reminds me of J.Lo. I don't know. I think it's maybe um, the color tan um so a girl of that color would look good in it um also kind of pocahontas e um very cute i like to wear it with this victoria's secrets top um you can't really see it except until i bring it back further and that's very cute and i can also wear this top with this sparkly Victoria's Secret Bottoms, which are very sparkly and cute. This again is another Pocahontas like. I love these kind of tops. These are so in style right now. I think I see everyone with them, but I love it. So, and also I love this coral color. This is very cute. And this is like a um, Pocahontas little number. And I love, well, I actually haven't worn this yet, this bathing suit yet. So I'm going to be really excited to wear this with these bottoms. It didn't go together. I didn't buy it together, but I think it goes great. It matches and I'm really excited. Like, see, that's what I mean. Like, I don't always buy my bathing suits together because sometimes I buy a cute top and then I'll find a cute bottom. And then I'm like, ooh, that looks good together. So this is my um, second favorite bathing suit. Uh, when I saw this, I thought Minnie Mouse or Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, not granny panties. They are bikini bottoms. And this is the top that goes with I have a really cute picture on Facebook with this mm, bathing suit on, and it's one of my cutest pictures ever, I think, so. Love that bathing suit. I also love this Hollister bathing suit. This makes my boobs look huge, probably because it's a little small on the top, but it does make them look huge, <laughs> and that is A plus for me. It goes with the cute little Hollister bottoms. That was a nice little, it's all about the Hollister, Abercrombie, blah, blah, blah. Now it's just all about, you know, whatever fits, whatever looks good, that works for me. It doesn't have to be name brand to be super cute, like this, for example. Um, I think this came from Target. Target, you can get really cute stuff for cheap. Love Target. 
bottoms and the top is amazing I originally bought it for the top bought the top went back for the bottoms love it so cute so sailor girl and um, this was a really good find this to me looks like Victoria's Secret but again this is another one of those um, bathing suits that push up really good makes them look good um, and I got this from another store outlet store somewhere um, and the bottoms so cute I love purple it's one of my favorite colors I think that is so cute and I also got this around the same time I was in that uh, cheetah phase that bird. and that is really cute and it also has one of these tops again love this style So cute, and it's just like I'm ready for the party. And oh, bathing suits are coming to an end. Hate it when that happens. These are so cute. I love this because the size. Haven't worn these yet, so I'm excited to get out there and try them on. Um, but when this was really just like jasmine from Aladdin. I just, when, when I saw this, I just thought Jasmine. And then I wear it with a black top. Um, or, I'm sure there's something I could wear with. But yeah, I was planning on just, for right now, wearing this black top. So I have it matches right now. I have Victoria's Secret itty bitty polka dot bikini. You want to remember that commercial? She wore an itty bitty yellow something. Look at that bikini she wore for the first time today. And this is my red and purple one. So, and then um, we all have those bathing suits that are ancient, a thousand years old. This is mine. And I keep this for in case, you know, I ever am going to go mudding or something like that. You know, or like a color race or something like that. I would wear this. So, anyway, that is um, the end of the haul. I hope you like. I hope you like um, watching my videos. I also today got something new. My mommy gave me these adorable shoes. 